We have several tools throughout the district, such as uh, Moodle and Study Island, where we can give online quizzes. And Google Docs is another one of those places that you can use to create online quizzes. To do that, you would go to the top left and choose Create New, and choose Form. And once you get to this place, if you want to, you are going to give this to students. You probably want to check mark where it says automatically collect their username and also leave it checked so that they have to sign in. And you can title it here. And you can give them directions in this box. And then you can start putting in your questions. There are several types of questions, text, paragraph, multiple choice, check boxes, choose from a list, scale, grid. Now obviously the ones like uh, multiple choice, check boxes, choose from a list, those can actually be graded for you. Things like paragraph text, that cannot be graded for you. But it will still collect those responses and then you can grade those yourself. So let's say I put a question in here. And I would put my choices in. And if I want them to answer this, I choose to make it a required question. And then I can add more or delete questions that I don't need. Add more on the top left. I can even choose a theme if I want to change the color of my quiz. And then when I'm done, at the bottom, it's going to give me a link. And that link is going to take me to my actual quiz. This address is the address that you would give students when you're ready for them to take the quiz. You could put that on your blog or on a Moodle page or on Edmodo on the day of the quiz. Now, if this is just a form where you're asking for opinions and it's not graded, you're done. Because then, whenever you go back to Google Docs and you go back to your home, you'll see that a spreadsheet has been created that lines up to the questions that you have. It will date and timestamp when they took it. It will put in their username if you chose that. And we'll put the answers to their questions. If you ever need to go back and make changes to your form from your spreadsheet, just choose Form and Edit Form. Now let's say that this was an actual quiz and I wanted it to grade the responses for me. What I would do is I would go to the actual live form as if I was a student and I would answer all the questions with the correct answers myself. I would then come back to the spreadsheet and I would see my own answers and then I would allow all of the other students to take the quiz and all of their answers would show up and populate here on this spreadsheet. Then when I'm ready to grade, I would go to Insert and choose Script. And the script for grading in Google Docs is called Flubaroo. F-L-U-B-A-R-O-O. -O. You can search for that and install it. This is the tool that is going to be used to allow you to have the responses created for you. I authorize it. And now once I have all the responses, you can see that I have a new tool up here on my toolbar called Flubaroo. And I would choose Flubaroo, Grade Assignment. Okay. 
Obviously, I have to have all my submissions before I'm able to actually do the grading, but the Fluberoo client will take you through the steps of grading that for you.